Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Sensor channel. Today we have an exciting product to review, the Moe's Zigbee Smart Wall Switch. In this video we'll be taking a closer look at its features, installation process and how it integrates with Home Assistant. So let's get started. The product comes in a carton box with a cover that has the details printed on the different sides. Inside the box you will find an English manual, the smart wall switch itself and a couple of screws to mount the wall switch. The most Zigbee smart wall switch comes packed with some impressive features. It supports Zigbee wireless communication which ensures a stable and reliable connection. It is also compatible with Google Home and Alexa so you can control it with your voice. There is no neutral wire required, making it compatible with houses that have different electricity circuits. It also has a built-in LED indicator that can be customized to match your preferences. I bought this smart wall switch on AliExpress for around 16 euros, which is about 17 or 18 dollars. As it is one of the cheapest options available for Zigbee wall switches, it can sometimes feel a little bit flimsy when clicking the switch. Therefore, I give it a total score of 7.5 out of 10. To install the wall switch, you'll need to open it. You can do this with a flat screwdriver by putting it in the two gaps on the bottom side of the smart wall switch. You will also see the two holes used to hold the wall switch in place. Let's get started with the installation. This is important. You have to make sure that there is no electricity active in the wall switch, otherwise this could lead to serious injury or death by electrocution. You need to turn off the electricity in the mains panel altogether if you don't have a separate switch for the room you are in. If you are 100% safe and sure there isn't any electricity active, you can begin with the installation. First, remove the original light switch if you have one installed. The removal process depends on the wall switch, so make sure to search it up online. Then disconnect the wires from the old switch. It can be handy to note what color the different wires have as you can now see to what terminal they are connected to. I have two wires. The green one is the live wire and the blue one is the wire which goes to the light. Because the hole in my wall doesn't have any screw inserts, I had to order some screw repair tools. It is recommended that you install two of them on each side as there is only space for one in the hole of my wall. 
Make sure you've separated the wall switch cover from the wall switch itself. Now you can connect the wires to the terminals on the smart wall switch. If you don't know which terminals you need, you can read the manual or search up a schema online. My circuit schema looks like this. Once the wires are connected, you'll use the screws that came with the smart wall switch to mount the wall switch in place. After that, pop the smart wall switch buffer back onto the smart wall switch and you are done for the hardware install. You can turn the electricity back on now. Let's go to the computer to set it up with Home Assistant. For the Home Assistant integration you will need an active Home Assistant server and the ZigBee 2MQTT add-on installed and set up. In Home Assistant go to the ZigBee 2MQTT add-on and click on the Permit Join All button at the top. Now go to the room where you've mounted the smart wall switch and hold the switch button for around 7 seconds until the light blinks. This will make the smart wall switch enter pairing mode. Go back to Home Assistant and you'll see that ZigBee2MQTT discovered and configured a new device. That's the smart wall switch. It is advised to rename the smart wall switch to a new name you can easily find. To add the button to the Home Assistant dashboard, go to the dashboard and click the three dots on the top right to select Edit Dashboard. Click on the Add Card button. Choose the Buy Entity tab and search for the smart wall switch you've renamed earlier. I'll add the three available functions for this demo, but if you only want to control the on-off function, you can only add the toggle function. Click continue and add to dashboard. The other two functions let you set the smart wall switch indicator status and remember the last state of the device. You can now control the light with the smart wall switch from the home assistant dashboard. If you have any questions feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.